Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. If you're new here, welcome. And I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel so that you can see future content that I produce. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the limited edition Puma X Maybelline collection. So this is a limited edition that's only available at Ulta. And it actually just dropped in the Ulta stores today, March 17th. So I purchased the entire collection. Some of the items, I only purchased certain colors that I thought would be more popular than others. So we're going to take a look at each of the items. I'll give you the details on everything and then we'll do a look. The first product in this collection that I want to talk about is the highlight. So this is one of Maybelline's Master Chrome Highlighters. A knockout is the shade. So this retails for $9.99 at Ulta. And let me do a shade swatch for you. This will be my first time trying these Master Chrome highlighters, but I have heard reviews from people that say that they love them. So look how pretty that is. It's like an iridescent um, gold pinky shift. So there's that. So that's the highlighter in the collection. Um, the next item that we have in this collection is the Color and Gloss Face Duo Stick. So this is kind of neat. This is like a stick that has one side with like a red color, the other side is an iridescent. You can probably see that highlighter. Well, let's just do a swatch of each side so you can see. So the highlight is on the top and then the color is on the bottom. Um, so basically you could use this as a highlight on your cheeks then turn around and put the blush on and, and dab it out. Well, the price on this item is $10.99 and you do get uh, 0.21 ounces or 6 grams of product. So, I mean, it, it is quite a bit that's in there. The other items in this collection, we've got a mascara. This is the smudge resistant mascara and let's just take a look at what the wand and stuff looks like on here I haven't even opened this up yet so pretty thick it just says very black is the color this there was only one shade on this and the price on this is $9.99 the other thing they have and these are the items that I only purchased select colors that I thought would people would like to see metallic eyeshadow duo sticks so this one is discipline and pulse is the color and this one is heat and flash so and then they have two other colors so basically these are $12.99 a piece and one side is going to be a matte and then the other side is going to be a metallic color so we're going to try out each of these let me do let me do a quick swatch for you. This is the heat and flash. So we have this, I think it's gonna be like a plummy brown color on this side. There's that. These are super soft and blendable. And then this side is the metallic color. Oh, this is like a really cool combination. So you can see that the, the metallic color is like a coppery color and then the bottom color is like a it's a brown brownish maroon type of color so that'll be really pretty and then let's try the other one here so this one is the discipline and pulse so here is the pulse color that's the metallic purpley color and then the other side is like a dark, it's a dark eggplant. I don't know if it comes off that way on here, but like when you do a light swatch, you can kind of see. It's like an eggplant color. So those are really neat. I, I'm excited to try those out and see how they look on the eyes. I'm always looking for eye products that are simple to do in the morning. So it's, I work a day job, but I like to put on makeup and I don't want to have to roll out of bed at 5 a.m. to do so. So if uh, these work out, that would be great to be able to just, you know, throw it on in the morning and, and go. So the last items in this collection are their Super Stay Matte Ink liquid lipsticks. They brought out five new colors for this limited edition collection. This retails for um, 9 dollars 
I only purchased one shade in this uh, and the shade is Epic. This was probably the most wearable for me and what I thought people would like to see. So I purchased this one and we'll try it on. Let's jump right into a tutorial. I held off on my blush because I wanted to try this gloss stick. So let's start with that first. So I think the best way to apply this, I think I'm gonna take, I have a wet beauty sponge here. I think I'm gonna just take this I think I'm just going to run a little bit of it on my cheeks and kind of blend it out with a sponge. Oh, it's really pretty. It's blending out really easily too. It's just kind of um, nice for a nice like rosy flush of color to the cheeks. It's not really bold. I think you could probably build it up. Let me try, um, besides a sponge, let's try... This is my Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush. Sometimes I like to try something like this and see. So let's try that on this side here. Just go back in with a sponge. I think I like it better with a sponge. I just wanted to try a brush too, just to see. Hmm, that's really pretty. I like that. It blends in nicely. a little bit more on this side because I think I put a little bit more on the other side so let me just get that on there yeah that's really cute I do like that I think that's really nice again a nice quick easy application there I am putting this on over powder probably I would say next time I would put it on maybe under my before I do my powder on top but it does look nice it's even even going on top of powders it's still still looking really pretty so I think what we're going to do too is I want to try the highlight on one side and then we have this master chrome highlight that I want to try on the other side so let's let's just do let's go right up here and just put that on and blend that out here I don't generally tend to use a lot of stick highlighters. Uh, and this is pretty. It's a nice muted highlight. It's not um, overpowering. It's not really, it's not glittery or anything like that. It's just a nice, it is a nice color. That's definitely a winner. I think for the $10.99 price tag on that, you know, give it a try. I think it's really cute. So let's try the highlight, the Master Chrome highlighter. And I'm excited to try these because I've never tried any of their Master Chromes, as I said earlier. So I'm going in with my um, Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush. So I'm just going to dip this in here. Let's just run that. Oh, goodness. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. It just sits on, it just gives such a nice sheen to the skin. Let's, I'm going to just put it over this, on this side too, just to see what it's like on top of that. Oh, that's really pretty. It's probably going to be my new go-to highlighter. Look at how blinding that is. And it's just a really pretty, again, it's, I'm not someone who likes a highlighter that's really, I won't wear highlighters that have a lot of glitter or anything like that in them. I have, you know, fairly textured skin and I don't think that it shows off or makes my texture look any different. It's just really pretty. I like that. Okay, awesome. So far we're, we're doing good with this collection. So let's try a quick eye look here. I think we're going to use the, I liked the heat and flash one. So let's, let's try that. So let me get a, a brush here. I think what I'm going to do is just start kind of like, just like this. And then let's, let's blend it out and see how they, how they blend. It looks a little patchy on camera. It doesn't look that patchy in my mirror, but it does look a little bit patchy on camera. 
Let's go in with the metallic color from this one and just kind of blend them in together. This is the other one that's the Discipline and Pulse. Don't know how much of a fan of these I'm going to be. Let's see if we can salvage it all by putting the metallic color on. On the lid itself. I'm going to use my finger and just try to blend it over. Yeah blending that over the other color it it's you're really not seeing the metallic and they're kind of muddying together and maybe I need to go back and read the instructions maybe they're only supposed to be used a certain way um this might be salvageable if you used it with another like a an actual like matte powder eyeshadow underneath Ugh. Maybe with a powder eyeshadow underneath. So let's, let me get like a, just like a base transition color. Let me take this off and let's go back in and try to, try to salvage these and see if we can't make them work with something else. Okay, so let's go, I clean that off. So let's go back in with one of my favorite palettes here, the Perception palette from uh, Shayla X ColourPop. And let's just take, um, let's just take this culture color because I think this might look good with it. And let's just, Start that all over the eye. I think this might blend in well with that. All right, let's just try. Now that I have that base, let's just try smudging this all over the eyelid and see. This time around, uh, I definitely like it a little better. Still not my favorite, still nothing that I think I would reach for. I would probably go out on a limb and say that if I was in the area, I'd probably return these. Let's try the darker end over here, and let me just take my finger and try to just like smudge that in to like make it a little smokier on the... Ugh, I just... I'm having a real hard time with these. I can't really salvage much of anything out of these. Oh, let me take a clean blending brush and just try to blend. Yeah, that's pretty terrible, I have to say. Um, so let me try to do the other side where we haven't done anything on this side yet. Let me try to get in there with the other side with this same palette here. All right, let's try this on the other side. Okay, and now it's just completely crumbled apart as I'm trying to put this on my eyes. Yeah, I'm going to go off camera and see if I can salvage this at all, um, putting on some eye black eyeliner and, you know, doing my brows and, and then we'll come back and put on the mascara and the, the lipstick. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put, um, I did my eyebrows and tried to smudge in some of this on the bottom lash line um, and, and go around in like kind of tight line with that. And I also used, I had a sample of the a Maybelline Lasting Drama um, waterproof gel pencil and sleek onyx. So I kind of mixed those in. Um, I salvaged what I could. Uh, it's a good thing it's Sunday and I don't have anything going on because I wouldn't wear this out in public probably. <laughs> um, they're just, I'm just really disappointed. The formula just, like I said, I mean, you saw it crumble. I could probably salvage them only if I wanted to use them for eyeliners. I think they'd be okay for that. And I might try to use them again one more time just to see, but anyways, those were kind of a fail for me. So let's try on the mascara here. So let's 
So it's quite the volumizing mascara way. They're very nice. It's kind of really filling in my lashes and making them look fuller. I did okay with the lower lashes too. Let me just go in and do the other side here. So it's pretty. It's your typical volumizing mascara. It's a limited edition mascara, so if it was something you did fall in love with, unfortunately, it's probably not going to stay out there. So it's pretty and it's definitely volumizing. The last thing we have to try on is the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Epic. So let's see here. This is the typical applicator that they use for these. It's kind of like an interesting, it's like a little well in the middle where the product sits, so. So it's a really pretty, like a berry pink color. Uh, I think that's really nice. That's definitely worth it, especially if you like this formula, the matte ink formula. Yeah, that's very pretty. I do like that color. I don't particularly like it with the eye look, um, but I wanted you to see what it looks like. So that's the finished face there with the Puma X Maybelline limited edition collection. Um, Definitely think that the matte Superstay lipsticks are definitely worth it, especially if you like any of the colors. The Master Chrome uh, highlighter that's in this collection, I love. I think this was definitely worth it, so I would definitely pick that up before it sells out. And the, the mascara was your typical... Maybelline mascara. Um, it says it's smudge proof. So I think that's pretty much what they were going for there with this is that it, you know, that's what they were marketing it for. It's a volumizing, nice mascara. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this was neat. I, the other thing I didn't really mention with this is, uh, what I saw online is people were using the, the red gloss side as an actual gloss on your lips. So it's kind of like a triple purpose. You know, you've got a cheek tint, you've got a highlighter, and then you've got this. So something you could throw in your bag, which, so I think that's kind of neat. I think it's a definitely, a, a definitely something I would try. These dual ended shadow matte and metallic um, I duo sticks, unfortunately, were just, I really wanted to like these, but I just don't, don't see it. Uh, the formula, I think, is too hard to work with, especially if you're somebody that has oilier eyelids. The, the metallics, they were just so super glossy that they were just coming right off. They didn't blend in well. I tried them, you know, as you saw in the, the, the video, the powder eyeshadow. I just couldn't get them to work to what I feel, you know, to spend $12.99. But overall, a neat collection. Um, and let me know your thoughts down below on this. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. Other than that, happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye.